Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we will discuss about equivalence of Calvin Planck and Clausius statement. So, let's dive in. See, these two statements seems to be different. One gives you an idea of heat engine, the other one gives you an idea of refrigerator or heat pump. Right. But they are not different. They are equivalent to each other. What I am trying to say is that if you violate one statement, you will be ending up violating the other. So what I have said, let's give you an example. What I will be doing is that I will be taking two cases in which first I will be violating your Calvin Planck statement and we will see that our clauses statement gets violated. And in the second case, we will be violating our Clausius statement and we will see that our Calvin Planck statements get violated. So, let's start with your case 1. Violation of Calvin Planck. Let's have two thermal reservoirs maintain a temperature T2 here and T1 where T1 is greater than T2 right now let's violate Calvin Planck statement by creating a PMM2 kind of machine which receives Q1 amount of heat from the thermal reservoir maintain a temperature T1 and produces work equal to Q1 Okay, now let's build a heat pump which is which is according to Clausius statement which will receive work input from the work output of your PMM2 right and it will extract Q2 amount of heat from the thermal reservoir T2 and it will transfer heat with the help of this work input from your PMM2 to the thermal reservoir maintain a temperature T1 as Q1 plus Q2. Okay. So now what I will be doing is that I will be combining these two devices and create a equivalent heat pump where this work input of HP which was your PMM2's output will be inside that equivalent heat pump right so for a clear picture I am drawing the diagram separately again okay this is your equivalent heat pump ok now what I will be doing is that I will be analyzing the work transfers and heat transfers between the equivalent heat pump and your thermal reservoirs which are maintained at temperature T1 and T2 respectively. let's start with work transfer see there is no work input given to this heat pump X by external aid so work will be equal to 0 now let's analyze the heat transfer between the thermal reservoir maintained at temperature T2 see it receives Q2 amount of heat from this and now let's go to the thermal reservoir maintained at temperature T1 so see this equivalent heat pump is rejecting Q1 plus Q2 amount of heat to this thermal reservoir and receives Q1 amount of heat right so the net heat transfer will be see this is rejecting right when the system rejects heat it is minus minus Q1 I am using the sign convention here 
माइनस क्यू टू प्लस क्यू वन सो वी विल गेट एज क्यू टू विच विल बी ऑन द अपसाइड डायरेक्शन विच इज हीट rejecting right okay so what i got is that this equivalent heat pump is receiving zero amount of work input but it is transferring heat from lower temperature t2 to higher temperature t1 which is the violation of violation of Clausius statement. Okay, so let's move further. Case two. Violation of Clausius. Right now, let's create. two thermal reservoirs like this which are maintained at temperature t1 and t2 okay let's create a heat pump which is a violation of your clausius statement which will receive zero amount of work input and delivers q2 amount of heat to the thermal reservoir maintained at temperature t1 by extracting q2 amount of heat from the thermal reservoir maintained at temperature t2 now let's construct a heat engine according to your kelvin planck statement so let's construct this heat engine which is receiving q2 q1 amount of heat from the thermal reservoir maintained at temperature t1 and delivers some amount of work and rejects the rest of heat q2 suppose q2 amount of heat is rejected to the thermal reservoir maintained at temperature t2 then the work will be equal to q1 minus q2 and here it is obvious that q1 will be greater than q2 okay we got this so what i will be doing is that again i will be combining these two devices and create a equivalent heat engine right and then we will analyze the work transfers and heat transfers accordingly equivalent heat engine okay so see let's start with your work transfers so work transfer the net work transfer will be w net will be q1 minus q2 okay now the heat transfers for t1 thermal reservoir right so see it is receiving q1 amount of energy and rejecting q2 amount of energy so the net work net energy will be q1 minus q2 as q1 is greater than q2 so it will be positive so the sign will be downward to the engine means it receives this amount of energy right now let's consider the thermal reservoir maintained at temperature t2 see it is rejecting q2 amount of energy and receiving q2 amount of energy right means there is the q2 will be equal to net q2 will be equal to 0 q2 net will be equal to 0 right this means that this heat engine is interacting only with one thermal reservoir and converting the whole heat transfer into work output which is the violation of 
violation of Kelvin Planck statement. See, in this way, we have shown the equivalence of Kelvin Planck and Clausius statements.